A month ago, 22-year-old Vlad said goodbye to his own mother and went off to fight. He and fellow private, Mark, have been here ever since. They've quickly grown comfortable with war's daily temple. They have the upper hand in Kharkiv. What are you fighting for? For peace in Ukraine. And what about you, Mark? Like my camera just said, for peace in Ukraine, these people came to our land. No one was waiting for them here. No one asked them to come. And what do you want to tell the Russian soldiers that are shelling you? <laughs> Run. We were not calling you here. Run away. There is nothing else to say. Either you stay here forever, in the ground, or you go back home and stop killing children and destroying homes and families. Go back home while you are still alive. Mark's foxhole has room for one and offers just about enough protection from exploding Russian shells. Suddenly, on the horizon, there is movement. An enemy scouting party is spotted. The Russians shoot back. But the danger here is artillery. Mark tells us we have to move. The Russians will definitely respond, he says, 100%. It's time to seek better cover. What is it like spending day and night out in those tiny, tiny little trenches? The shifts are longer during the day, but at night when it's cold, we swap often. It's okay, you get used to it. Humans can adapt to Humans can adapt to everything. What's going what's going, what's going on right now? They are targeting our position. The shells begin to land all around us, only meters away. You can see what they're up against here. This is daily, but the steadfastness of these men has been felt not just in Kharkiv, but around the world. They've had four weeks of this and still they remain. The Russians haven't been able to break their lines and this invasion might have come as a surprise to the rest of the world but this is what they've been expecting and training for for years. Unable to move, the shelling is relentless. These bombardments are endless. This is Russia's tactic of choice. We're told for the third time that day to get into a nearby underground shelter. The Russians are pretty determined to break these lines. Are they going to get past here? Are they going to get past you and these men? I think no. We will not surrender Kharkiv. Our loved ones have got our backs. They won't get through here.